Alright, we're going to go ahead and transplant my SIM card from the iPhone 3GS to the HD2, which uh, got set back up now. Get that unlocked there. Um, so, yeah, got my little iPhone SIM retrieval tool. I'm going to pop that in there like that. Pow, pow. Grab my SIM card, pop that back in, throw this over to the side. Actually, maybe I'll just set it to the side. I'm going to go ahead and, go ahead and turn this off. Power off. And then I'm going to remove this back cover again. Just like I did in the uh, the hardware first look that I showed you earlier. And this time it's not being so nice to me. It's got a little notch there, and you gotta get your fingernail in there and pop it out. There we go. Feel like I'm gonna break it. Alright. Um, I'm going to get this uh, battery out of there and we're going to slide the SIM card right up in here like this with the notch. Oh, come here. A lot of the weight of this device is that battery, to be honest with you. It is much lighter without the battery and the battery is not really all that heavy. So that's it. SIM card's in and we're moving forward. Uh, come here, this way. You hear that metal back? I don't really like the dual two-tone look that it gives. Kind of wish they would have matched the edges here with the same. But So anyway, now I have my SIM card and I'm going to do a hard reset. And I will come back with another video and show the very detailed setup that when you first turn it on for the first time, it walks you through that gets this thing set up for you to just go to work. So, anyway, I'll be back. Alright, I am going to, I've put the SIM card in and I have placed a micro SD card in right here. I put an 8 gear right there with some music on it. And it just snaps in like that. And I'm going to go put the cover back on. And we're going to sit here and watch this thing boot up for the first time. So, let's get it going. Let's uh, turn it on. And this will be the initial boot. This, um, this takes a couple minutes. And what we're going to see come up is a... Basically, it's going to ask us to set up our SIM card with our carrier. Do you want to set up email addresses? All that good stuff. So, we'll see how this works out for us. Try to get you the full screen there. Uh, it takes, like I said, just you know, the very first before you know when you completely power it off and power it back on. It takes a little while to load load up, but that's expected with any device, Android, Apple, any of them, even the iPhone. The initial time when you plug it in does that. So anyway, uh, this is the HD2. If I didn't tell you that, uh, <laughs> if you're watching this video, you pretty much know. Quality brilliant. So um, from here to here is 4.74 inches, uh, top to bottom. Uh, side to side is 2.64 inches, and it's 0.43 inches deep from here to the bottom there. Like you see there, I don't know if you can tell that. Just tapping on it, it's bouncing because of that uh, that antenna or that um, camera there that I was uh, mentioning in the hardware first look that we uh, did already. So. Uh, the battery on it, like I said, is a 1230 milliamp hour battery. Uh, that's going to go pretty quick, I think. So, it looks like we're almost ready to go through this initial setup. All this is going to be is just the initial setup. I'm going to set my email up and all that good stuff. Uh, I'm not going to do the full software yet. I've got Thanksgiving with uh, my family an hour north of here, so I'll probably... Uh, do it tomorrow night when I get home. So it's asking me, please, uh, multiple connection settings were found. Please select one. And I've got a choice between AT&T, track phone, voice wireless, and Zestar Mobile. I'm going to pick AT&T because that's what kind of SIM card I have. And it's going to do the connection settings and all that. It's going to set up. Whoa. Why is it going out of focus there? Uh, it's pretty much, come on, stop being out of focus. There you go. It's pretty much going to, um, 
Okay, it's already done it, set, you know, set up the modem and all that good stuff. So here's a using the on-screen keyboard, learn how to blah, blah, blah. I'm going to skip this. I'm not sure if you really care, but I am going to skip it. Networks detected. Connecting to Wi-Fi may improve the speed of the setup, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to hit OK and see if it'll go ahead and find mine. And it did. It's right there. Mobility. I have it for all intents and purposes unlocked. And you should see. Yeah, there we go. There's a little status indicator telling us it's doing something. Okay, we're connected. And bam. You get a Google location terms of service asking do we want to let the device tell Google where we're at and all that good stuff sure I'll agree set up accounts we could set up Outlook Google Mail AOL Mail or other account I'm gonna go ahead and set up an Outlook account now here I'm going to go ahead and pre-populate this Probably should have okay um, it's asking me now what I want to sync with my exchange server and we're going out of focus again we got mail contacts calendar and tasks I'm gonna go ahead and be done and in a minute it'll have that set up I'm gonna go ahead and hit next on this uh, thing here set up your favorite social networks so I'm just gonna do Twitter alright let's see if this will let me log on I'm not going to set Facebook and YouTube up quite yet. I'll do that later. You can do anything that this little tutorial, or not tutorial, but walkthrough setup is uh, having you do. You can manually do any of this if you'd like, but looks like HTC's making the process easier for you and letting you go ahead and set everything up in one clean sweep. So come on. There we go. All right. So it's happy with my Twitter. We'll go ahead and, oops. Yeah, okay. Uh, to find out how to synchronize Outlook contacts, blah, blah, blah. All right, fine. Learn more. See that? Okay, cool. I'm finished. That's it. There is the device, and I could go here to my email. Oh, come on. And hit update. Send and receive. And did you hear that? That was a tweet. Telling me I've got a tweet already. Let's go to the Twitter tab here, and there's Twitter using, okay, um, it didn't like, ah, I misspelled something here. So uh, it's not going to sync right now because of that, but we're going to okay, go ahead and fix, fix that, that right now. now. We'll go back there in just a minute and see if it worked. So anyway, this is uh, the tab for Twitter here, and if you just, uh, well, actually go to all tweets, that'll bring up actual the actual program and uh, here you go there we go so but anyway I'll show you this later just kinda just doing a little something here go back home and we'll go back to email see if we got anything yet see if that's set up properly menu send and receive and we'll give it just a second and see if it'll work here all right Let's just go to the inbox and see if it's actually... Okay, it is synchronizing. This has gone into Outlook here. I hope that this uh, the HTC's made it where they've skinned Outlook the way they did on the Touch Pro 2 because I really want to see those big emails. My eyes are getting... There we go. There we are. So now we're all set up there. We'll get out of there for now. And uh, here's your... So, but anyway... Um, that's it. My name is Chris and this is the HD2 for MobilitySite.com and we have a ton more to show you. Stay tuned for some more videos.